So, the scandal of Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere, Senior Geo Founder of OPM, Omega Power Ministry. It is not Omega Fire Ministry. Name might look similar. Now, the reason why I connected both of them together is because an audio got leaked. And in this audio, if you've been on this channel, you know what I'm talking about. You can just go down and watch that video or see the video at the end of this one. Well, according to this leaked audio, Apostle Chibuzo made mention of the name of another cleric, Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Johnson Suleiman is an household name. He has been dragged, pulled, and he said he himself is a generator. Anyone that wants to drag him, they can go ahead. After this audio got leaked out, and the center of this audio is Apostle Chibuzo's randiness, allegedly, amongst underage. He has gotten a lot of women, young ladies pregnant, aborted some. There are children that he has um, kind of neglected and all of that. One of the ladies that came out to talk about this publicly, not audio now, face to face, is uh, called Gift. Now, the man that decided to put this upon himself is called um, Ochu Daniel Ogechuku, um, where he put out an update titled Aponsu Upon Stu, not Apostle, Upon Pon Su Chinere Gift One Cause Case. Listen to your disgusting business, God of Man, begging bragging and threatening a 14-year-old girl he took advantage of. He also threatened to block her from receiving help from OPM Church if she tells the world how she was taken advantage of by him. Now, in response to this, Apostle decided to tell us how he claimed this happened. He released something on his social media handle called press release where he said alleged and claimed that his voice was cloned to deceive the public i'm going to read just a short you know write-up of what he wrote it's so lengthy and obviously even when a man is caught red-handed they will always look for something to say apostle till today has not decided to put himself publicly, I mean, like what gift requested. Let's go for DNA. They went to Ghana for the DNA test. Till today, Apostle has not presented the result. Neither is Apostle saying this young lady is a liar. Till this moment that I'm talking, the young girl, amongst many, one of them is at large. She hid herself. That's just what it is. She's on kind of exile. She hid herself, her identity. And she is making sure that her phone number is not tracked because now we have trackers. They can track your location. This is what Apostle wrote. He said, we want to bring to the knowledge of the public about a voice recorded message making the rounds on all social media platforms and blogs. The voice was cloned by distractors, haters and enemies of Apostle Dr. Chibuzo, Gift Chinyere, founder and general overseer of Omega Power Ministries, OPM worldwide watch the attached video to see how the agent of darkness cloned his voice now the video that is asking us to watch is that of an artificial intelligence um, website where you can put um, some you know you can put some audio recording the voice of anyone and by so doing uh, the artificial intelligence can pick up uh, letters and make it into words, words that the person did not say. This is what they claim. They say that this fake audio was computer generated, which meant to tarnish the good image of the man of God and present him in a bad light and also distract him from carrying out his good works of helping the less privileged, which God has called him to do. The truth is that the proponent of this black man who claimed to be a medical doctor in the United States of America and cloned the voice of Apostle Chinyere, and Ella demanded for the sum of a million dollars from the man of God to stop 
this blackmail. When it became so obvious that Apostle Cherry wasn't ready to respond to the first time, he resorted to recruiting people from different parts of the world, including Nigeria, to blackmail the man of God. He has recruited various sets of people to tarnish his image, malign and ridicule him with fake and non-existent stories. He's receiving his new recruits with promises of money, visas to America, and non-existent university scholarships. And not just that, Apostle on his own page also said, I will take you to America, I will take you to America. Show us how many people you have gotten visa for. It is more of, I say, them say, and now it's a challenge between two people, two individuals. He went on saying they have formed the cabal for blackmailing notable personalities with him as a lead cloud chaser and have lured many to succumb to their evil plans with fake promises. We have carefully collected evidence of his attempts to recruit naive persons to tarnish the name of the man of God and shall be making them public in due course. The gate of hell is not happy because of the lives of the less privileged God has used him to save. Well, this is what it is. This is what it is. Let us assume that the rest of the ladies, you know, somehow are trying to blackmail Apostle Chinyere. Apostle Chibuzo give Chinyere. Um, I do not know of this, you know, um, Apostle not wanting to show. Apostle does not want to show himself clean of the accusation brought forward by the young lady that has decided to put herself a her face to everything that she's saying. She said that there are other people also who um, Apostle got pregnant. Some took the child, you know, they had to get it off, abort it, evacuate it. While some, you know, according to this same gift, um, are living somewhere in Lagos. Everyone is trying to keep to themselves here and there. Apostle has still, you know, continued in his giving of 20,000 era, sending this person here, um, free school, free this and that. But what we know is this, philanthropy does not necessarily mean that you are not into um, terrible things, doing wicked things, taking advantage of children, girls, and, you know, it's it's it doesn't necessarily mean that you are not doing this. You can be doing this same thing. You can be doing it. So it's not about... Uh, if, uh, you know, um, you give thousands and millions of money to the less privileged and by so doing, um, you, 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 are, uh, you are not, you know, guilty. It doesn't, doesn't mean that you're not guilty, Apostle. Um, what needs to be done in this case is that you should come out, Apostle, come out. And regardless of, you know, your status, I'm a pastor, Apostle. Um, come out and present to the world whatever your accusers are saying. Come out to present to the world the medical um, facts, the medical um, results that prove that you are not guilty of the said allegation. And definitely, the world will applaud you the same way they are applauding your generosity. Not because it's your money that you are sweating for, although it's your ministry. Ministry means work. Um, yes, it's your ministry, but it's the money coming from um, people who are contributing into it. People sweat coming from different, uh, you know, corners of the world. Apostle, it's not a big thing. You are a, you are an apostle. Come out um, if you know that none of those girls, you know, uh, that are accusing you, none of them. If you know that you did nothing with them, come out and speak because um, slowly, slowly, slowly. Um, the evidences that they are throwing out is just not good. It's just not good at all. Um, like I said in the previous um, video, I said all I've seen, all I've seen. But for someone to now sin and now be acting like a saint, that is where a um, problem comes into it. That is where um, it becomes uh, an issue. So, Apostle, do the right thing. It's as simple as that. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. See you in the next update.